What's up guys, my name is Nick Jacana and today we're gonna be doing a full breakdown of my self-directed and self-produced music video, Paper Cuts. So I'm a big fan of setting the tone right from the jump of the production. And as you can see from this first shot, that's exactly what we did. I wanted something to really shock the viewer and let them know what kind of video they're about to see. This entire video was shot over the course of one weekend in my apartment, a random parking lot, and an abandoned warehouse. So as you can imagine from me just telling you that, there were a lot of hurdles to overcome with the location. For one, we didn't have many power outlets in the warehouse, so we had to rely on battery-powered lights to get us through that location. The only light in this shot is one Aperture MC over top of the camera, angled down. This actually ended up being perfect because that top-down angle actually accentuated the black eye makeup that we put on before the shot. Now I really wanted this warehouse scene to be as gritty and dirty as possible. So with a lot of these shots, I would take a subject, something that I wanted to remain clear, and create a gauche and blur mask around it, and then just feather it out into the rest of the frame. So this shot of the gun kind of exemplifies what I'm going for here. I created a gauche and blur mask around the finger and feathered it out to the edges to make sure that the finger was still sharp but everything else had this little blur and this little bit of smudginess to it. Patrick Tommaso actually made a great video essay about this concept using the Batman as an example, which served as a big visual inspiration for the cinematography of this video. So moving on to the apartment scene, it was obviously a lot easier to control the lighting of this setup. We have the candle serving as a practical light, as well as an Aperture 120D and another Aperture MC, creating an easy two light setup. Now I'm a big reference guy in a lot of my music videos. I like to pay homage to films and filmmakers from the past that really inspired me to keep doing what I do. But one that I feel like went over a lot of heads is the reference to Spike Lee's Russian roulette scene in Malcolm X. As my character is loading the bullets into the gun, I actually suck the bullet before I put it in. Hey yo, what the fuck? Just like Denzel Washington does as Malcolm X in his film. So this shot right here is a recreation of the classic shot from City of God. Now despite this being a recreation of an iconic shot, its composition translates well to the visual ideas I was going for in my own film. It keeps a lot of the frame out of focus and dirty, and still plays into the compositional rules to make it visually appealing. Now this drinking scene was actually filmed around midnight with just me and my girlfriend in my apartment, and all I did was really overlay and crossfade a bunch of different shots of alcohol pouring and me drinking just to create a really disorienting and drunk effect. From here, we go into the drunk driving montage, which again, I just wanted to put in a lot of quick cuts and blurry lines to just add to this disorienting effect of what it would be like if I was actually driving drunk in this moment. Now, I actually did a lot of sound design with cars whizzing by, horns honking, liquor spilling, just to add as many layers of sensory overload as I could to add to this distracting effect of drunk driving. Again, it was really tough lighting conditions, so I had to keep most of the frame just completely blacked out as the only light was another Aperture MC right on the dashboard. It's not necessarily about creating the perfect lighting setup or, you know, building this beautiful composition. It's more so about the story you're trying to tell and how you can get it done with what you have. Now, finally, we come back to the Russian roulette scene with two of my favorite shots from this whole thing. The first is a shot that incorporated my body double, which added to the effect that there was two of me and I was doing these acts to myself. Now, the person sitting in this chair was actually a longtime friend of mine who, as we were growing up together, everyone would always say we looked alike, so he just seemed like the perfect candidate to be my body double. For this shot, we just had my body double sit down so that way the viewer thinks you're looking at the back of my head, we pan around and see me pointing the gun at myself. Yeah, our hair links don't match up perfectly, but I fooled a lot of my close friends and family, so it's a win to me. So finally, the explicit shot where I'm pointing the gun at myself. Now this shot actually consists of three separate shots, one for each character and one of the back wall just by itself. As you can see here, I stitched the two shots together using masking, but it ultimately got really messy around the shadows because despite the camera being on a tripod, lighting conditions changed, the sun may have changed in a window, whatever happened, the shadows changed. So then I had to mask around the wall to make sure that the shadows remained consistent all together. So finally, this present day last sequence of me getting shot was actually just shot in a random parking lot and the only lighting available was the tall lights in the parking lot and again, that handy dandy trusty Aperture MC. This shot heavily relied on sound design to make it look like I was walking towards the club, but in reality, we're just in a random parking lot in Florida. So for one final reference in the title card, whenever I make anything that's just a little bit spooky and comes out around Halloween, 
I like to use the font Albertus, which is popularized by the great John Carpenter. So that's it for paper cuts. I hope you guys enjoyed me breaking down each individual shot and kind of my thought process going into it. I'll dive deeper in future videos about what I learned from this process, as well as breaking down some of my other music videos from the past. If you guys enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time.